Hi students, if you are watching some of the video tutorials here, uh, which is meant to help you to implement some of the features for your music app, it is paramount for you to watch this video because it's going to explain uh, the differences in the codes as compared to what you are learning in the lab. So the reason is because uh, these videos are created with the code base uh, that is before 2021 and therefore there are some differences as the COMT team has made some changes uh, to the music app uh, for 2022 alright so please watch uh, this video to understand the differences so the differences are actually quite minor so I'm going to explain to you the most glaring one that you notice the difference is the use of this particular file uh, which you can create a folder, util, and then uh, this particular java file which I'm going to also uh, put a link for you to use if you want to but the recommendation from the team is that you don't have to do this okay? Uh, because we felt that uh, the code that we are using in 2022, this current run, uh, is more efficient and more graceful. Alright, so so I think uh, important thing is for you to understand the difference so that as you watch the video, uh, then you can uh, understand the video tutorial. Alright, so once again, the the advice is not to not to use the app YouTube, uh, but I will put the link below for this file anyway. Alright, so I'm going to explain to you some of the differences. So on the left is the codes that is the of the old version. Alright, on the right is the code that is of uh, this current run 2022 that we are teaching you in the lab. Okay, so so of course you can see the difference here, right? So here there's no app YouTube. There's a app YouTube. There's a folder YouTube and there is a file app youtube.java and uh, basically if you want to use this file okay so you just need to import in this folder so that uh, this current java file will, will have access to this app youtube all right so the first thing that we are doing here okay is uh, we use one of the method inside app youtube called get resource id all right so it is found here it's found inside app youtube get resource id basically uh, what does this what does this method do is that it is going to uh, given what is the id okay the id of the uh, image view or image button okay to find to find out what is the ID that we assign okay because uh, this particular ID here is one that's generated by Android okay so we will not know what it is okay but using this particular API we can get the ID that we assign to it for example if it is the Michael Bube image button then this will uh, evaluate to become S1001 okay so we put in this method inside this file app YouTube for the students in the old run okay so we are using it okay so imagine uh, it is the Michael Bube image button that has been pressed right so this will this will become the Michael Bube image button we pass it to this method and this method will return a string s101 to be stored inside resource id all right so in the current run it is very similar right so uh so you can see over here okay so if it is the michael bube image button that has been tapped so this one will contain the michael bube image button right and we are using the same API alright so we are directly using it 
rather than putting inside another Java file. Okay, so this is the very slight difference here. Okay, so take note. Okay, the second thing is that we are in the okay maybe in the tutorial you will see this method being used right so this is very trivial i think you can ignore this this is just calling this method to to show a toast all right so here we are just showing a toast here all right and in this run we felt that we can just you know teach the student to use this toast directly okay so we don't have to uh, so called put in another method inside app util so that is the second change okay and uh right so this is the changes pertaining to app util all right so it is not something very uh complicated it's just that now rather than using one additional java file we decided uh, we want to do away with this app util all right so we are using this api directly okay and if we want to do a toast then we just call the toast api all right okay so that is the change okay another big uh, or rather more significant change in the old codes is how we send the information to the play song activity all right so in the old version right uh, we are sending one two three four five okay we are sending five information okay so we are so assuming okay assuming it is the uh, Michael Bube image button that is being tapped so we are sending in a string s101 right the way you look tonight okay the artist the file link and the cover art so we are sending in five information to the play song activity so now I'm at the play song activity here right you can see that okay I'm uh, embedding in the file string into the bundle right okay and here I'm retrieving out okay all the five keys okay given the key I'm retrieving out the value so after this method is being called basically song id will contain s101 title will contain the way you look tonight so on and so forth all right so this is the old old way all right so in this current run uh, we felt that uh, we can be more uh, elegant more graceful uh, in sending data over so here right rather than sending in you know all this information why not we send in the in text okay in text of this particular song all right so that's the idea so if you recall here we have an array here okay we have an array here okay we have an array here so the first one okay in text zero this is your michael bube in text one is your uh, I think it's Billy Jean right and then so on and so forth so we felt that we can send this in text all right we can send this in text because once we have this in text okay we can easily get out get whatever information uh, pertaining to the song okay so that's why we are only sending out the we are only sending over the in text information okay so assuming it is the same song then basically we are sending the value zero over all right and and inside play song okay for this for this current run right we don't have this method okay because uh, we don't need to right because basically uh, we are just getting out one information here which is the in text okay in text so we store inside this variable here current in text and then uh, we use this okay we use this current in text okay to find out what is the song that is being selected all right so to summarize the bigger change is that in the old method we are sending in 
all the songs information okay all the song information in your run of comt 2022 right we felt that we don't have to send so many information we can be more elegant we just send in the index position of the array all right we send in the index position all right so i hope uh, this will clear up uh, any possible confusion as you watch uh, the rest of the video tutorial okay thank you for watching this